G'day guys, it's Kenny Raceboy here and today I'm going to be talking to you about my setup. Um, in particular, the Zoom H1. This is the voice recorder I use to um, record my audio when I'm on the bike, basically. Um, as you may know, you know, a lot of people use the GoPro, which is what I use, it's a pretty good camera, but the audio does kind of get a little bit dodgy at higher speeds, so it's not the best at recording your voice. Um, so what I use is basically the zoom. Um, as you can see here, I've got my external mic, which is more or less just a standard lavalier mic I bought from the shops um, for about, I think it was $5 or something. And then what I've done is I've actually, you know, made a little break in the line here. Um, just bought some couple, a couple of, you know, headphone connectors and, you know, cut the line and just soldered them in. Um, which is really helpful. I've, I've, I've cut it so that, you know, it's just the correct size for my helmet here, which sits just like that, and basically I don't have to take the mic out of the helmet. So that's really, really easy, that one there. And uh, basically what I do with this one here is I pretty much, I don't know if I can get this the right angle so you can see, I've pretty much got, um, you know, some double-sided sticky tape here, and I've it's kind of a bit dodgy, but you know, I usually like to like to use Velcro or something like that, but I've kind of run out. Um, so that sits in there like that. I tuck the cable down this side here, and it comes out the bottom, like so. So that stays in the helmet, and she's all good to go. Um, as for the recorder here, it's actually um, really, really nice in the way that the user interface is. Um, of course, I stick. I don't know if I can focus this a little bit better for you guys. Um, but basically what I do is I stick this cable in here, like that, it says input line, and then what I do is I stick this other end into the into the helmet, or the mic rather. Um, and then what I do is, you've actually got these kind of gain lines on the side here. I can get a bit of a closer shot, you might be able to see them a bit better. Um, but as you can tell, if I tap the mic, you can actually see the gain lines going up and down. And that's really helpful for setting up your audio um, when you're on the bike, especially at, you know, 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour. Um, really, really helpful. Um, at the moment, it's actually got, you know, the volume inputs on the side. You can actually adjust them like so. We've got it set at 21, which is about the sweet spot that I found. And then you've also got these uh, little dials on the side here. Um, low cut. I've actually got that on because it cuts out the wind noise, which is really, really good. does it really effectively. And there is also an auto level. I leave that off because I like to, you know, do things manually. And you can also set the bit rate as well, which is down the bottom here, which is pretty helpful. Um, high quality audio or MP3 for longer recordings and um, yeah that's pretty much it um, nothing much else to the audio really um, as for my setup with the camera I've got the GoPro of course uh, a lot of people use it um, it's a pretty well-known camera um, I've got a couple of connectors here focus on it for you guys um, she's pretty straightforward I've just got a little connector here three sections of extension so it comes out and then I just Clip her into the helmet like so, and then set the grommet because it cuts out a lot of the vibration. It's like a little dampener of sorts. And then, as you can see here, it just sits at the front of the helmet. Um, really, really, that's pretty simple, really. Um, you know, you can still close your visor and whatnot. And um, yeah, she's all good to go. Just sync up the audio in the editing software, which is a little bit painful, but. You know, it's worth it for the good audio. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get on the bike and I can show you guys how the audio goes at a couple of different speeds. I'll try, you know, standard highway speeds and, you know, back street speeds. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the bike. G'day, guys. And here we are on the bike. Uh, as you can see, I've got my camera here and it's roughly pointing towards where the speedo is. Um, I've got this little thing tethered down so <laughs> it doesn't fall off. But um, what we're going to do is a bit of a speed test of sorts. Right now I'm doing roughly about 55 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure what that is in uh, miles. Uh, probably about 
what, 35, 40, if I'm lucky? Who knows? But, um, yeah, I'm going to push it up to 60. And at the moment, inside the helmet, it's, uh, it's pretty quiet. There's nothing much, uh, there's not much wind going on. But when I push it up to 100, the wind does get a little bit, uh, a little bit more noisy which I'll show you in just a minute when I get on this highway down here. Um, I'm going to take a left and then we'll be on the Barton Highway. So I hope my uh, battery is not going to run out with my GoPro um, because I lent it to my mate and he hasn't bothered to charge it and I didn't remember to charge it myself or even check it. So I'm going to wait for these cars of course and then we're going to ham away. So, we're going to get up to 100 here. So, this is a 100 kilometers an hour. I think that's roughly about 60 miles an hour. From what I can tell, um, I might push it up to 110 just to be safe. And, yeah, to me, I'm actually yelling a little bit, being that there's actually quite a lot of wind noise and yeah i don't know how this is coming out on the zoom hope it's i hope it's all right with the low cut setting on but yeah i hope you guys like my review slash setup of what i've got here and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out